let's hope this works. Here's the gun I have. Here's the plasma cutter I have. Cut 40 amp. I got this a few years back and I'm having a problem with the tips. With these style tips here. And it's this style like this and it just slides in. And I don't think you can, they even make these anymore. Um, maybe you've had the same problem. Maybe they do make them and I just don't know where to get them. I looked online, I can't find them. They may have them at the welding supply. But uh, um, here's the problem, I, here's what I ran up with. So here's what I got from Amazon. This was $10 and it comes with this tip right here. This style tip is more common, I think, um, with this little spacer thing here like that. Okay, and it fits in, I don't know, I already had this thing together. I think it goes like that. Okay, and then the tip goes on here. Let's just say like that, all right? So they have these on Amazon for 10 bucks. And the reason I got this, I don't know if this gun's very good, but we'll try it out in a minute here. Um, but I got this because it seems like it's a more common, like I can get these, the tips for this one online pretty easily so i'll see if it works good i'll let you guys know here in a minute and uh, i'm going to change this out i'll show you how you do it so i've really never done this particular product before but i just was looking at another guy changing this out but it had a different gun and he was changing it for different reasons so i'm going to take all these screws out on this thing split this thing in half let's take a look at it all right so we split this thing open Okay, oh, looks a little different than I was expecting. It's kind of hoping there was going to be a screw on here to hook it on, but uh, I'll get around to this in a second. Should be something right here, a fitting or something. So behind there, there's this thing. I had to cut this stuff away. And I think you can take this off and put it on the new gun. Let's open the new gun up and take a look at it. All right, well, it looks like it's got the same size fitting here. And it's got a little switch inside there. So you can see it's just a basic switch. Actually, it just has two little contacts there. You can see they just bump on that little contact there. So we'll see if we can wire this thing up and take a look at it. Well, here's the challenge. Got two males. Need an adapter. So, we'll see how that goes. I guess this gun here has one of those, some sort of a grounding adapter or something. And uh, the new gun doesn't have that. So, let's see if that works. I'm going to try and delete that. So, I just cut this wire off. Then I'm going to hook it onto the other. See if it works. So, what I did is I just hooked up this here. I'll put a little shrink tube on there. And just made it like that. I was going to solder and shrink tube it, but I'm too far away from my soldering station. So I figured I'll just do it with a cramp. All right, so I'm going to go try and find an adapter to this. I'll bring you guys back in the video in a second. And we'll see if I can find it. So I had to get a, a double-sided compression fitting. And the threads didn't seem to fit really good, but it does work excellent. So... Maybe I'll do a real quick demo for you guys. Uh, let me see if I got this thing turned on. Is it on? Let's see. This thing never works this good. You see, when I cut in rough before, every time I hit paint or rough, it would just work like crap. Right 
Yeah, he's working great. So this little ten dollar thing fixed the uh, heck out of that. Now I got tips I can use, you know, and the tips are really really cheap for it. You know, it's a cheap gun. Okay, putting it together, you'll find that out. Um, I just I couldn't get the video of that part, but uh, it does work. So just so you know, if you want to try it, have yeah, these on Amazon. Talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.